Food. It does be Paul, but I want snug my name present a wall. And such a wall as I would have you think, add in it a crannied hole or chink, through which the lovers, Pyramus and Thisbe, did whisper at often a very secretly. Would you desire lime in her to speak better? It is the wittiest partition that ever I heard discourse, my lord. Pyramus draws near the wall in silence. O oh, grim faith knight, O oh, knight of hue so black, O oh, knight that ever art when day is not, alack, alack, alack. And thou sweet, thou lovely wall that stands between her father's grounds and mine, show me thy cheeks that I might fly to you with mine eye. But what's the eye? No Thisbe do I see. Thou vile, wicked wall, through whom I see no bliss, cursed be thy stones for thus deceiving me. <laughs> the wall, methinks, being sensible, should curse again. No, sir, in truth he should not. Deceiving me is Thisbe's due. She is to enter, and I am to spy her through the wall. Yonder she comes. O oh, wall, full oft hast thou heard my moans for parting my Pyramus and me. Often have I kissed thy stones. I spy a voice. Now will I to the chink to see if I can hear my Thisbe's face. Thisbe! My love, thou art my love, I think. Kiss me through the whole of this vile wall. <laughs> <laughs> Kiss the wall stones, not my lover's lips. <clears throat> Will thou at Ninny's tomb meet me straight away? Tide life, tide death, I come without delay. Thus have I wall my part discharged so that being done, thus wall away doth go. <laughs> No lion's dull, nor yet no lion's dumb. This land horn does the horned moon present. Shut up the horned moon present. This land horn does the horned moon present. Myself, the man in the moon, do seem to be. Well, this is the greatest error of all the rest. The man should be put into the lantern. How is it else the man in the moon? All I have to say is. This lantern is the moon. I, the man in the moon. This thorn bush, my thorn bush. This dog, my dog. Then let fall your horrible pleasure. Here I stand, a poor, infirm, weak and despised old man. And yet I call you servile ministers that have with two pernicious daughters joined your high engendered battles against the heads of all and white as this. Oh, oh, this. Oh. 